Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CS Baba. In this session, we will discuss about how to schedule backup Linux server backup into network attached storage server. So guys, I will give you some basic to advanced overview. How can you schedule a backup? So guys, I will share to you here. This is my Linux server, which is a which is CentOS server seven. This is my operating system CentOS server. This is the application which I am running. This is uh, Apache application. This is my CRM. So I want to, to schedule a backup, daily basis backup into network attached storage. So guys, uh, if you are first time viewer on my channel, please like, share and subscribe. So let's start. First, uh, I am having QNAP 886 server. This is my QNAP 886 server. This is my QNAP 886 server. So I want you to schedule a Linux server backup into here. So I will I can schedule a backup, daily basis backup, early and weekly. So guys, you there is a uh, once you have logged into your NAS drive, network attached storage drive, there is an option here, HBS HBS hybrid backup synchronization that is called HBS hybrid backup synchronization or if you don't have then you can install from your application center so this is the application center you can install from here so open the hybrid backup solution this is my hybrid backup solution there is a third option here first is the overview backup and restore this is the op option synchronize I will be going to synchronize my backup Linux server backup to into NAS drive, network attached storage drive. So just click over here. There is the option synchronization option. You can check over here synchronization option here. Yeah, just uh, click on the create option. Just click to create option. There is third option two way synchronization. I will going to use only synchronization job, not to the two way or one way synchronization job. I will use the active synchronization job so daily basis or weekly or yearly. Just click to active synchronization job. And here is the option remote NAS. If we are having multiple NAS and you want to take a backup of NAS, you can select here this. And so I will going to take a backup of Linux server remote synchronize so I will select a uh, second option remote synchronization job just select to remote synchronization job once you will select the remote synchronization job is here is the option add new account just click to add new account if you are having already added the your server you don't need to add again so I need to assign the server name. This is the uh, process name, storage space name. I will going to assign here my backup, my latest backup. ERP, ERP system. So I have assigned this and you will here you need to type the your host name it will be your uh, ip address of it and it will be your host name so i will use my ip address so this is my ip address for that uh, linux server you so server type which kind of server you are using so there is a option here ts nas just uh, draw, check the menu here is the option synchronization compatible server just click to the bottom synchronization compatible server just click to synchronization compatible and here you need to type the username what is your the username of the linux server so i am using centos 7 server so what is the centos your erp system linux server username so my username is root and password whatever i have assigned so i am typing my password so once I have typed my password, you there is the option use synchronization port. What is the port you are having? So I have customized port using customized port. And once you have typed the port and there is the option test connection, you need to test the connection. Just click to test the connection. So my connection is success. I have landed to the my Linux server. So again, you need to check the speed. You can check the speed over here. So it will be the here is the speed will be uh, check you can check the speed it will be the about, about to check the so why my speed is 190 uh, 0.50 MB PS speed so just click to create your is to, uh, synchronization job just click to create synchronization job I'm going to create a synchronization job so just uh, close this and select 
the this is my latest backup server which i have created the new backup server just click to uh, just select this server once you have select the server there is a option job name what is the your job name so i will going to type my erp backup my uh, erp solution backup bkp so this is a uh, description whatever you want just uh, copy paste this over here so you can check over here this is the arrow it's indicate the from this server from this server you are getting it uh, getting the backup for the nas drive local area it's local uh, disk to a uh, network attached storage server so i am uh, just click to add option just once you will click to add option here is the multiple option here just go to the where variable and there is the option here you can check www just click on www and here is the option if you want to take a only html just click to select the your html backup just click to click the html backup and here is the one more option you can check over here the where is the location this is your uh, this is the location of backup this is will be the destination okay just uh, just select the destination of server so here this uh, will be my destination so app view will just click to your server whatever server latest backup i will going for latest backup so and october just uh, select and just select your the destination just click to okay once you will click to okay you can and now you can schedule your backup so next step select the folder so i am selecting the folder just click to next again here is the option three option you want to schedule or you want to manual just i will going for the schedule option just click to schedule and here is the option here is the option you can select the time schedule the time the here is the one time you want and daily weekly monthly whatever the solution you is required you can select i will go for the daily i will select the time here is the time i will select around midnight after 8 just select the timing 8:15 or 8:10 whatever time you want just click to okay so this is the time i have selected for the daily synchronization job just click to next and you can check over here configure configure the job policy these are the job policies which i am going to select i have checked the file and contain just click to next again and once it's so, also this is the job which i am going to create once it, this is the time frequency time daily time this is the interval time and end time this is the my starting time so just click to create so i have created a one synchronization job the uh, to linux server to nas drive so friends uh, so friends so i have so friends i have created one schedule job for only for coding coding part i have done i will going to also have one another job i will going to create for database backup so again you need to create click to create synchronization job again you will go for the active synchronization job just click, uh, click to create and there is a option third option active synchronization job just click to create and select the second option you can choose remote synchronization server just click to remote synchronization job which uh, job you have already created i this job i have already have created on the same server so i will going to select this job so once i have i will going to synchronization job name so my database my er my e erp database and just copy the description you can assign the description same or uh, leave it as it as it is default just click to here where is the location of your database my database location will be variable again go to the variable there will be option library just this is the option library and again you will go to you need to select the mysql there is will be a mysql this is the my database which i will going to select select the database click to okay and where this is my 
location database location this will be my destination this will be host and this will be destination so i will uh, going to select my destination this is my destination just click to go to the destination uh, directory select the destination directory select the destination directory again you need to let us back up and select the database so i will going to select the database or if you want to create a new database you can create a new database so i will going to create a new database name so i have created here database data database so i have created one folder database so i will select the database this is my uh, this is my folder this is my late latest this is my folder i will going to select okay this is i have selected this database i'm just going to click next once you will click next there is the option here schedule database schedule backup so i will again going to check the timing so i will going to again the daily basis i will going to schedule a daily basis timing so just select the around whatever time you want to select you can select so i will going to select nine o'clock night so nine seven or nine ten i will going to select just click to ok and once you will click to ok just click to next and there is the option here configure the job policy just uh, ch check the file content just click to next and now you are once this is you can check over here cross check over here this is your uh, host this will be your loaded location backup location and as i suggest to you need to take a backup really regular backup every every database system have to erp system have to the daily basis backup and just click to create so now i have created two to data to uh, so 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 guys you can check over here i have created two backup schedule which is my erp coding and this is my implementation database if you want to run this either timing which i have selected here if you want to check the is it working or properly or no just click to synchronize no just i have applied the synchronization no so it will synchronization because I am not getting any kind of error. So it means my schedule process is completely fine. So it's running. So I will I am getting this the size which I am getting over here. So this is the scheduling is going on. This is the scheduling going on. Synchronization job is going on. So I will show to you here. We will go to the your directory. You can check over here. These are the directory which I have fetched, which I fetched fetch here. These are all the directory which I fetched. This is where the directory. This is my directory. These all the backup. There is no It doesn't take much time. The scheduling task is going on. So if you want to schedule a task for database, just also click to start synchronization job for the database. This is the good option to take your server backup regular, regularly. So guys, you can check over here. So uh, this all the my database, my database or my coding, my ERP system completely to uh, I have taken the schedule the backup. I have taken the backup. So guys, I will show to you here. This is my uh, database coding backup or this is my database backup which i have which i took the backup these all the my by my backup which i i have taken so guys this is the process to so guys this is the explanation and process uh, to take the linux server backup to your network attached storage server so guys if you like this video please like share subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day.